What do you think is the difference between therapy and coaching? That's today's question on Ask Dr. Syra. I'm Dr. Syra, I'm a psychotherapist, and every week I answer your questions about relationships, personal growth, spirituality, and just psychology in general. So here we go. The question for this week by Layla is, what is the difference between therapy and coaching? You know, I've been thinking about this question a while, for a while. Um, I have family members and friends who are coaches, and... Um, you know, so, so what is the difference? I actually was speaking to my marketing guy who said, like, I should frame what I do as a coach, like I'm coaching. And I'm not actually coaching. So what is the difference? Well, coaching is, first of all, there's a different training process that goes into therapy versus coaching. So with from my, my academic background, and different therapists have different pathways that they take. My pathway was that I did a master's in psychology. Um, so I did my undergrad in psychology and sociology, then a master's in psychology, then a PhD um, in transpersonal psychology. So I went through a big, long training process. Then I also did a practicum. I did like hours and hours and hours of working with clients before I was able to kind of get my letters, right? So that's how I did it. Some people, depending on the province or the state that you're in, the requirements might be different. So um, in some provinces or states, you're required to have a master's degree in order to be a therapist. In some places, it's a diploma program where you can go through, um, you know, maybe a two-year course or maybe, you know, even a year and a half course to become a therapist or a counselor. So there's all of these different words. But therapy and counseling is different than coaching. So for one, the training that we have. We're really trained deeply in psychology, human psychology, different techniques of listening, um, the, the dangers of influencing. So we are not giving advice in counseling and therapy. I'm not trained as a coach. So for the coaches out there, maybe you can add in the comments what you would you would say. But from what I understand about coaching, it's usually a shorter training period. Um, though they, they also, many of the programs also do have some components of um, working with people in order to get your letters. Um, it's a newer, it's not as kind of regulated maybe because it's a newer concept. Coaching and coaching tends, so I have a coach, I have a business coach. And what she does that's different than my therapist is that she she doesn't do things like go into my childhood and my past necessarily with me, right? She'll talk about the things that are happening currently in my life and whatever it is that I need to do or tweak to kind of get where I want to go in my business. Some of those things are linked to these deep kind of situations that I have in my past, but when, when, we, when we get there, um, she, she, it's like it's almost like she knows where her limit is right like she doesn't kind of ask me questions like a therapist would she kind of like oh that's interesting that's linked to this and let's bring it back to today so it's not about healing the past necessarily I think with coaching I think coaching is more about this moment now and how do we get you to your goals right so it's a little bit of a different um philosophy if you will a coaching session and a therapy session might look similar, right? It might be the same amount of time. It might look like talking to someone, you know, who who gets you and who wants to be there for you and support you. Um, but they are different things. If you have, for example, if you're struggling with your mental health, the right professional for you will likely be um, a counselor or a therapist, simply because they have the training in those areas, right? They're able to help you kind of navigate depression or anxiety or um, grief, for example. And these days there's all kinds of like relationship coach, business coach, like I've heard all kinds of things. And I guess the key thing, there would be two things to look for if you're working with a coach. One is what was their, what does their training look like? Because Right now, because it's not regulated, technically anybody could call themselves a coach and they could be advertising themselves as a coach. So you want to find out like what was their training program. And usually a coach will tell you that during that first kind of meeting of what their training is. The second thing is how do you feel with this person? And this is true with a therapist or a coach, right? Do you feel like this is somebody who can understand you? Do you feel like this is somebody you could trust? Um, what are they promoting like in their social media, in their website, like what are their values, what do they stand for? You'll kind of get some of that information just kind of researching, just figuring out who you're working with. Because at the end of the day, you're giving your time and money to someone who you think, who you believe will be able to help you. 
And so you want to make sure you're making a good investment, right? Um, one of the things that many, 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 many of my clients um, tell me is that they've come from a referral. So a friend of theirs worked with me or a family member and now they're kind of working with me. So it might be useful if you know if you have friends or family who are working with a coach ask them like what's your coach like you know what what have you been able to achieve through coaching coaching may talk about things like self-esteem um, about goals and you know things like long-term short-term goals that you want to accomplish it can be, feel like a bit of a cheerleader right somebody on your side and in your corner and willing to like be there with you and work with you through to get where you want to be one thing coaches usually don't look at is root causes Right? So that's more in the realm of therapy, of why do I have these beliefs that I have today? Right? Where did that come from? Those kinds of questions are generally more dealt with by therapists. So there, there are some differences. Um, you might be working with a therapist who's calling themselves a coach. Like, Just get really clear with your service provider. Like, What is it that they're providing? Are they providing therapy and counseling or are they providing coaching? Now, what is the difference between therapy and counseling? I think that's a topic for another, a whole nother day, um, but we'll get into it. There are some differences, but just for today, thanks for your question. Um, what's the difference between therapy and coaching? So if you have further thoughts, if you yourself are a coach, I'd love to hear your thoughts below, or if you've worked with a coach, um, please send me your question, whatever you want to know about personal development, psychology, spirituality, life in general, um, send it along and make sure to like and subscribe to our channel, Dragonfly Wellness TV. Bye!